In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a sprite to your Scratch project. A sprite is a character that you can control using code. You can add one sprite or multiple sprites to your project. I actually don't know what the maximum number of sprites is because I got tired of adding over 100 sprites when I tried to find a limit. Though, if you're creating a project with hundreds of sprites, perhaps you should contemplate your reasons for doing that. On this YouTube channel, I make coding tutorial videos just like this one, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing to help the channel out. When I'm helping teachers or students learn Scratch, one of the first questions I often get is how to add a sprite, especially now that Scratch 3.0 is out and the interface is a bit different. To add a new sprite, you can hover your cursor over the icon on the bottom right that looks like a cat with a plus sign on it. Immediately, you're presented with options to choose a sprite, paint a sprite, get a random sprite, or upload your own sprite. By default, just clicking on the cat face will allow you to choose a sprite to add to your project. There are dozens of sprites that you can already choose from that come pre-built into Scratch. When you click on one of these sprites, it will show up in your sprite list. You can select one sprite at a time to add code specific to that sprite. The active sprite will be highlighted in blue and will also be seen at the top right of the scripting area, so you know which sprite you're adding code to. I've gone ahead and clicked on Sprite 1, but you can see that in the Sprite pane we could also rename the sprite, so if I want to name it Cat, I can do so right here. And I can change its X and Y coordinates, its size, or its direction. I could also choose to hide the sprite right now, or to show it. Now before ending this video, I'd like to show you how you can import your own sprite. If we go back to that little cat face with the plus sign, and we select Upload Sprite, you'll be able to choose an image that you may have downloaded from the internet or drawn yourself. So I'm going to choose this Obama image that I downloaded. And there you have it. Now I have a third sprite in my project that I can add code to and do stuff with. In the next video, I'll show you how you can change what this sprite looks like.